and welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I have a super exciting collab with Butte Bean going up. She is absolutely amazing. I'm so incredibly grateful for her for doing this collab with me. She does such an amazing job and she is absolutely dedicated to her craft. She posts to Instagram every day. I'll have everything linked below and if you haven't checked her out already you should definitely should but we are teaming up and doing the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette three looks one palette video so you're gonna get six looks with this beauty now this is the original Jeffree Star palette I bought it ages ago and I haven't used it in so long I saw it in a post that she put up of palettes that she ha is gonna do three looks one three looks one palette with and I was like dude let's do the Beauty Killer so I'm super excited to see what look she came up with I'm well aware that they are probably going to be a lot better than mine. Anyway, I thought I'd take a page out of her book and I am doing voiceover style for the three looks. I hope it works. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, welcome back if you are one of my lovely subscribers. Uh, welcome if you're from Beat Bean's channel or Betty Jean. Anyway, on we go. Oh, look what's dropped out of the air. The MAC paint pot in soft ochre. So we're just going to place this down. And blend it out as my base for today's look and oh look what else has popped in the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette I just love it when things drop down from the sky in Betty Jean's videos I thought I'd try and recreate it so I'm just using that shade China White to set the base and you know now going into star power I'm just blending this out I found it took a while to sort of build up and I sort of more had to pat it on and then blend it out, which you'll see me doing right now. Now, Butte Bean is such a great creator. I I'm so grateful to become friends with her and I love watching her videos. So please do make sure you go check them out. I can't wait to see what look she's creating and if she pulled out this pink. Now I'm going into Violence, which is this shimmery purple, but I'm gonna use it on my outer corner, sort of deepen it up and give it some depth. I'm just patting it in and then blending it out. I find this is a good way to go with some shimmers. All right, and now dropping in is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair 00. I'm just using this to cut my crease. And I'm sorry, I, I just do such a messy job of this. You know, I try and do that eye open trick and it just doesn't work for me. So this is my method. And we're gonna use Expensive, this beautiful shimmery blue. And we're doing a pink and blue eye look today. I hope you'll like this effect. I'm quite a fan. I did find it wasn't building up the way I wanted to, so I sprayed some MAC Fix Plus on the brush, and we're getting a little bit more bang for our buck. So now I'm going into Rich Bitch, which is this beautiful shimmery gold, and we're just going in the inner corner. Unfortunately, it is a crumbly shade, and it is dropping all over the shop. But we're going to go back into Violence and go underneath the eye and just bang that out. The Colourpop Cream Highlighter in Piggy Bank. This is a beautiful purple and I just love using it. So I've remembered to curl my lashes today. I'm super impressed with myself. And I just wanted to test this one out again. This is the Australia Stamp It Wing Liner. But I'm using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner to sort of straighten it out and try and make that wing. I don't support Kat Von D but I do keep the products that I've already bought from her prior to the scandal in my collection and you know anyway so my wings are done and look they're uneven yes but I did them which is a rarity for me so now going in with the NARS Climax mascara this is one of my favorite mascaras I just love it I don't really know why and here is the final look and me trying to look cute I hope you enjoy all right and on to the second look I'm wearing my lipstick in Gargoyle from the Jeffree Star Valentine's Day box and I've already put down my MAC paint pot in soft ochre. We're putting Courtney in the crease to give it some warmth and then I'm going to pull out Black Rainbow which is this shimmery black. This is going in my outer corner and I'm just having a little bit of trouble blending it out and making it not patchy. And then I'm using Vanity which is like a brown black. And I'm going to put this in my crease to really deepen it up. And we're going for a more of a black eye look today. 
I've got some loose skin in that part of my eye and it's just really grabbing. Going in with confession, I'm creating a halo effect with this today. Using rich bitch, that's going to go in the center and the inner corner. And this is where you can really see it chunk up and you can see that little chunk has fallen on my eye. I do get rid of that. Going into vanity, which is that shade that we've just used above and underneath the eye. And then using puppy from Colourpop in the eye waterline. I really like an orange. It's such a banging colour. The Colourpop Volumizing Mascara. Just chucking this on my lashes. It's nice. I like it. And here I am trying to look cute again. I really don't know how Betty Jean does those beautiful looks that she has like at the beginning of the video. And I wish I had her confidence to do it. But let's bring you in close so you can see what the eye look looks like. I'm in love with that orange in the waterline. And the third and final look. The MAC Paint Pot is down and we're going in with Star Power again. I'm just loving this pink. I don't know. It's beautiful. And this is my Sony G Worker One brush. One of my favourites to work with. Oh, I love this brush. But we're packing this pink down and blending it in. And then going in with Vanity. And we're using this in the outer corner just to deepen it up and give it some more depth on that outer edge. And blending it in but it really doesn't want to play ball today and it has started turning purple which hey I'm totally okay with that I'm gonna keep going with this look so I, I'm trying to expand on that purple effect that we're getting but also keeping some of that black so we've got that nice depth going on and then we're gonna move into violence which is the shimmery purple and it's kind of blending into the eye look but so I think we're just going to give a little bit of a spritz with some of that MAC Fix Plus coming up right now and then go over it again. There's a little bit more definition now, but I'm thinking I need to add some more pink. So I'm putting Star Power back up in the crease and blending that out. And more Star Power, this time under the eye, just to blend out that beautiful pink effect that we have going on. And then next up, I'm getting my Urban Decay Eyeliner in Asphyxia out. This is a really nice duochrome purple. It goes on the waterline and doesn't always pick up as well as I'd like it to, but I think it complements this look well. And then Lancome Hypnos Doll Eyes Mascara going on. This is definitely one of my favourite mascaras. It's such an easy wand to manoeuvre in my eyes. And I have decided to put Princess on my inner corner. That was a last minute moment. And here we are having a nice up close look. And I'm about to hand you over to Real Time Prue. Thank you so much for watching. All right, well, that summarizes the three looks. I hope I did okay. I hope you stuck out for it. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, thank you so much for stopping by if you're from Betty Jean's channel, or thank you so much for watching if you're from my channel. I absolutely appreciate and adore every single one of you. Mwah. Mwah.